Hello, my Sagittarian friends, and welcome to Mystic Door Tarot. This is Barb with your weekly tarot card reading for July 15th through the 21st, 2024. Hope everyone is doing well, enjoying your summer months, a nice warm weather, actually too warm in some places of the country. So as always, Sagittarius, Take what resonates as that is what you're meant to hear and leave the rest behind. So we're just going to jump right in and we are first going to look at which crystal Sagittarius you should have for the upcoming week. So need to know what does Sagittarius need for crystal for the upcoming week. Ruby in regards to passion. Now this concerns your root and sacral chakras. So um, how you're grounded, what makes you really, really happy, what do you have a passion for. And the sacral chakra is in regards to change, but also where your desires reside. So your passion, what is it you've got hidden underneath Sagittarius that uh, maybe you're tucking away on the back burner is what I'm picking up. Let's look at your oracle cards first. We're going to next pull a message from the universe. I love this deck. It really can hit home, hit the nail on the head with the message that you actually need to hear, whether you realize it or not. So what's coming through for Sagittarius, especially kicking it off with a ruby and passion? All right, if you didn't get something you really wanted at this time, if you feel stuck or feel like things are not going according to your plans, know that something bigger and better is coming. It's something filled with divine magic that couldn't come into your life if you were to receive what you are asking for now. So something that you might have really wanted, Sagittarius, um, it didn't happen for you. And you're completely um, bewildered by this because you thought it was kind of like a sure thing. So Spirit is letting you know that you've got something bigger and better coming in. Maybe you were thinking too small, Sagittarius, and maybe you think that was perfectly fine by me. But it is talking about if you're feeling stuck. So are you feeling stuck? Are you feeling like things aren't going according to plan? Because this is telling you that there's something bigger and better coming in. And we have this beautiful ruby crystal in regards to your passion, Sagittarius. So what is, what is it you're feeling passionate about? Is it a new friendship, a new interest, a new job, you know, a, a new um, partner for love? What is it? So let's see what the um, life and career oracle deck has to say for you Sagittarius Ooh, drama <laughs> beware of troublemakers in the workplace the job you want may have too much upheaval to bear keep emotions and gossip in check so Sagittarius did you get passed over for a job there might be a reason for it it might be that um I'm picking up for, for some Sagittarians that there's a better job. Maybe within your existing company, it's not known. So the job you wanted got filled. You're wondering, what the heck? You felt very passionate about that job. You really wanted to get that job. So there's something better. Now, you could also see something if you start, if you've been looking for a new job, you might see something that you, um, you really, uh, you really didn't expect. This job would end up being a headache, is what my guides are saying, especially with um, this card coming out. So, Let's see what else, let's see what the tarot cards have to say, but I feel like um, for some of you, you've been passed up over a job and you can't imagine why. All right, so it could be anything. It could be getting picked for a certain position. If you're on a committee, 
Um, you can really apply that to just about everything, whatever it is that you had a passion for. And we had one card fly out. Mmm, yeah, something's working behind the scenes. You got the moon card coming out, definitely. So as I was saying, you could, it could be anything. With it being a general reading, this can go off in so many different directions because it's what you have a passion for with the ruby crystal coming out. It is something you really wanted. You didn't get it. You can't understand why. Now you feel stuck. You feel like... Um, Almost like a woe is me. What am I going to do now? But we have the major arcana card, the moon. Something's working behind the scenes. And of course, it's going to work its magic in divine timing. And I don't know. Yeah, it does say uh, it's something filled with divine magic. So moon card comes out. It is divine timing. You don't have all the facts. Um, I immediately picked up that this energy here was it's either within the same company that they uh, they had you in mind for the position but there's something else that they came up with maybe a job that you didn't doesn't currently exist they're going to make this job it's going to be something that you would definitely want so if you would have gotten this job and then that job got presented you would have felt really bad like i didn't know about it so it's something to that degree. Take it how it resonates, Sagittarius. Something you really wanted got passed up. There's something better lining up for you. You just don't know it yet. See, oh, two cards wanted to come out. Okay, we will take them. We have the Ace of Swords and the Magician. So, oh, very much um, long time coming kind of energy here with the Ace of Swords. Like a long and difficult road, and certainly you could certainly be feeling this way. You didn't get something that you wanted. You're feeling stuck. Things aren't going according to plan. So it's feeling like forever. But here's that next opportunity that's going to be very successful. And it's being manifested for you. Look at this. This is absolutely um, being manifested for you. It's being, it's um, magic in the works, you might say. Working behind the scenes with the moon card energy. So, really wanted just three cards in the top there, but oh, let me show you first. Um, it is the Seven of Cups. Wow. The sky's the limit, is what my guides are telling me. It's something... Um, you know, Seven of Cups is like your hopes, wishes, dreams. This is beyond that. What's coming in here, you know, what you got passed up on. Something bigger and better definitely coming in. The sky's the limit. It's something you didn't even dream of. But it's something, yeah, you're going to feel very passionate about. Something you desire but you didn't even really think it existed. So something is coming about. Something is working behind the scenes. Um, things have to line up. So very much divine timing here, you know, with the moon card. And then the Ace of Swords is, um, you know, just how long that divine timing takes. Something is being put together for you, manifested, getting everything into place. And it's something you, you never even dreamed of. It's as simple as that, Sagittarius. So let's see what else we have coming through. Ooh, temperance. The card of alchemy. So I feel since this is kind of right below the moon card that things are coming together. If you see the cups, yeah, it's, it's getting the right mix, getting things put together. Temperance is all about um, that sacrifice, that give and take, um, you know, doing things in moderation, you know, experiment, try something new. And look at that. And she just keeps mixing the cups back and forth till you get it right. So, yes, I really agree with this energy here. You didn't get something you really wanted, Sagittarius. 
you're feeling stuck down in the dumps things are not going the way you want them to but the universe is saying know that something bigger or better is coming in but it's in divine timing and you can see it here it's being manifested for you something beyond your dreams and with the temperance card another major arcana card that is the changes that are being made things are, are you know being put into place the puzzle pieces are being put into place so let's see what else oh wow <laughs> Well, it could be a Capricorn. Uh, Devil card is Capricorn energy. Uh, might be why things are... Um, I almost feel like things... Because of this card, this is one in the same. Something very um, unique that you didn't even dream of is coming in. Boy, I want to pull... I'm going to pull a clarifier for the devil card here. I almost am picking up, it's in a different way, that the situation is being manipulated. That is this energy, but actually in your favor, Sagittarius, if that makes sense to you. Things are being uh, maneuvered in your favor. Oh, yeah. Doing it behind the scenes, Seven of Swords. This is definitely something. And that, that falls in suit here with the Moon card. That things, um, there's things um, coming together for you behind the scenes. Um, so really, um, it, it could be if you have a Capricorn around you or a Capricorn boss. Or it could be like a new company even. Where um, you might be going to a new company. People are making room. They're manipulating positions and maybe a restructure of the team maybe management something is going on somebody is being very proactive and getting all everything into place so there is a um, a, a very careful energy here manipulating a situation and that could be clubs organizations uh, you know, if if you're um, on a, a team of some sort, if you're with an organization, it could certainly be your job. You you really do want to avoid this kind of a situation. So something that you really wanted, there's something better that the, that they're uh, putting together for you. That would be source. So final card here. Let's see how. You know, the tarot cards always tell a story. So let's see how the story ends. It's going to end your worry about money, finances. You know, anything that you're lacking. This is a card of lack. This is change coming in. Somebody, there, there is an energy of manipulation here to um, put you in a position uh, that is bigger and better. Filled with divine magic that couldn't come into your life if you were to receive this original thing. Whatever that may be, how it resonates with you. It could be a job or a position of some sort on a team, something like that. That wouldn't have happened. You know, if this happens, you're not going to get what's coming through. So, um, it's eliminating... This is a card of lack, and it's a five energy, so it is change coming in. It's change happening here. Yeah. Wow. All right, final message from the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. We're going to wrap up the reading. It's coming through for Sagittarius. Final message. Ooh, isolation. And let's see, this is Saturn in Scorpio. Oh, no, wait. Mm, yeah, no, that's Virgo. This is Saturn in Virgo. So with Saturn energy, um, that's ambition. 
Virgo is perfection, service, job, the work that you do. Mm. Okay. Yeah, this falls in with this energy right here because there's something going on behind the scenes with the moon card, um, a little trial and, trial and error type of, um, you know, experimenting, the alchemy. This could be certainly uh, someone is double checking in regards to a project, documents, uh, legalities. You know, if this is indeed like a position coming in, if that's if that's um, how it resonates for you. Uh, this is kind of like a reorganization energy here. The, this is, um, you know, how it's said, you know, you were you didn't get something that you wanted, Sagittarius, something bigger and better. It's beyond your expectations. This card is clarifying that, that you didn't set the expectations, uh, you didn't set the bar very high. So it's kind of um, telling you, sit back, relax. The six energy, you know, it's telling me you're on the right track here, but sit back, relax. You know, let Saturn do its work. This could be a certainly a representation of how you're feeling because you didn't get something that you really wanted. But there's something better coming in. So going to have to kind of trust Sagittarius and let me know in the comments uh, what this is pertaining to. But it looks pretty much, um, it looks like a, a job opportunity, something that, um, that you wanted. It could have been, um, boy, with the general reading, it really can go off in so many different ways here, Sagittarius. So um, something you couldn't dream of is what is being lined up and coming in for you. All right. Well, that is the energy for the week. Thank you so much for joining me. For personal readings, visit my website. But love and abundance to my Sagittarian family.